Get ready to unlock three powerful order block strategies that could transform your trading. We're diving deep into Lux Algo's premium indicators to deliver the most precise buy and sell signals, giving you the edge you've been looking for. If you're tired of chasing trades and missing key moves, these strategies will change the way you approach price action trading forever. So without further ado, let's dive directly into our first strategy. In this first strategy, you will dive deep into a game-changing strategy that leverages two of TradingView's most precise indicators. This strategy shines on lower time frames like the 1-minute and 5-minute charts, making it ideal for scalpers aiming for quick, consistent profits. Whether you trade cryptocurrencies, major forex pairs, or stocks, this strategy delivers exceptional results. Results. I have tested this strategy 100 times manually on the SPX 1-minute chart, and here are the results. I started trading with a $5,000 account balance. I use 5-10% to of my account per trade. For example, if I profit $100 on a trade, my new balance is $5,100, and I use 5-10% to of this updated balance for the next trade. Conversely, the opposite is true for losing trades. Traders, before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. As I have already tested this strategy on the SPX 1 minute time frame, we will use this asset and time frame for our demonstration. Now let's click on the indicators tab and search for signals and overlays premium. It is the most popular premium tool created by Lux Algo. For the second indicator, you want to add the price action concepts indicator. Next, add the legacy oscillator two times to your chart. And finally, you want to add the squeeze index as well. All right, now let's click the settings of the signals and overlays indicator. For the signal mode, we want to use none. For the signal sensitivity, you want to use 10. And for the candle coloring, we want to use confirmation simple. For this strategy, we do not want to use any overlay. So make sure all these options are disabled. Moving on to our second indicator. Open the settings of the price action concepts indicator. And let's start with the market structure labels. We want to use the market structure labels as an entry confirmation. So make sure to set both options to all. Next, enable the volumetric order blocks and set the amount to display to 5. For the time frame, make sure to choose a higher time frame, and it's depending on the asset, volatility, and time frame you're trading on. So for example, I most of the times use the 5 or 10 minutes time frame. Next, for the first legacy oscillator, you want to set the type to ultimate stochastic. Set its length to 17, and set the lengths of the ultimate MACD to 12, 26, and 9. Now click the style section and make sure only the stochastic trigger is enabled. Now open the settings of the second legacy oscillator. Set its type to advanced and its length to 17. Set the lengths of the ultimate MACD to 12, 26, and 9. Now click the style section and make sure only the advanced main is enabled. Our setup is ready. For today's strategy, our main focus lies on combining market structure labels with other confirmations to find the best entry points and using order blocks for exits. Let me break this down for you. First, let's talk about market structure labels. These labels help us understand the overall trend of the market. One important label is the break of structure, which appears as BOS on our chart. This occurs when the price moves beyond a previous high or low, indicating a continuation of the trend. Another key label is the change of character, which appears as chalk, which signals a potential trend reversal when the price breaks through a previous structure point in the opposite direction. Now, the market structure label is our first entry confirmation, but we need additional confirmations to ensure a strong trade setup. We'll start by looking at the candle coloring for confirmation. This method uses three colors to indicate different signals. Green candles show a strong bullish signal which means it's a good time to consider buying. Red candles show a strong bearish signal, which indicates a good time to consider selling. However, we do not want to enter a trade when the candle is purple. Purple candles indicate a normal bullish or bearish signal, which is not strong enough for us to make a confident trade entry. Therefore, we focus on green for buys and red for sells to ensure stronger signals. We will then use the ultimate stochastic trigger band. This tool helps us confirm our entry by showing bullish or bearish market conditions. When the band is green colored, it indicates a potential buy, and when its color is red, it suggests a potential sell. Next, we use the histogram for a second confirmation. We focus only on the stronger colors, like light blue and light purple. These colors highlight stronger momentum, giving us more confidence in our trade direction. Finally, we check the squeeze index. The squeeze index helps us identify periods of low volatility that are likely to be followed by high volatility, or squeezes. When the squeeze index appears in red with dots, we do not want to enter a trade. But when it's in red and decreasing, we can start looking for an entry. 
Ideally, we only want to enter a trade when there's no squeeze, meaning we want to see only the yellow line oscillating without the red cloud. So, to recap, the market structure labels are our first entry confirmation. Next, we use the candle coloring for another confirmation. Green candles indicate a strong bullish signal for buy entries, while red candles indicate a strong bearish signal for sell entries. Then, we use the ultimate stochastic trigger band to confirm entries, with green indicating buys and red indicating sells. We also use the histogram for added confirmation Information, focusing only on the stronger colors. And finally, we check the squeeze index. We avoid trades when red dots appear, consider entries when the red decreases, and prefer to enter trades when there is no red cloud, only the yellow line oscillating. So, when exactly should we enter buy or sell trades? Here are the exact rules for a buy position. First, we need to see either a bullish break of structure or a bullish change of character label. This indicates a potential upward trend. Next, the candle must be colored green. This confirms a strong bullish signal. Then, the ultimate stochastic trigger band must also be green. This provides further confirmation of the bullish momentum. Additionally, the histogram must be colored in light blue. This shows strong upward momentum. Finally, we check the squeeze index. It must either be in red and decreasing, or we want to see only the yellow line oscillating without the red cloud. This ensures we are not entering during a low volatility squeeze. When all these conditions are met, we enter a buy trade. For the stop loss, we use the most recent swing low. For our target, we use the next order block located above the current price action. Now let me show you another buy trade example. First, we look for either a bullish break of structure or a bullish change of character label to signal a potential upward trend. Next, the candle should be green, indicating a strong bullish signal. Then, the ultimate stochastic trigger band must be green as well, confirming the bullish momentum. Additionally, the histogram should be light blue, indicating strong upward momentum. Finally, we check the squeeze index. It should either be red and decreasing or show only the yellow line oscillating without the red cloud, ensuring we avoid low volatility squeezes. When all these conditions are met, we enter a buy trade. We set the stop loss at the most recent swing low and target the next order block above the current price action. Traders, if you like this video and strategy, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Moving on, let me show you how you want to enter a sell trade. To enter a sell position, we follow these steps. First, we need a bearish break of structure or a bearish change of character label to signal a potential downward trend. Next, the candle must be red, indicating a strong bearish signal. Then, the ultimate stochastic trigger band must also be red, confirming the bearish momentum. Additionally, the histogram should be light purple, showing strong downward momentum. Finally, we check the squeeze index. It should either be red and decreasing or show only the yellow line oscillating without the red cloud, ensuring we avoid squeezes. When all these conditions are met, we enter a sell trade. We set the stop loss at the most recent swing high and target the next order block below the current price action. Alright finally let's go through one more sell trade example. For a sell position we need to ensure the following. First, look for a bearish break of structure or a bearish change of character label, indicating a potential downward trend. Next, ensure the candle is red, confirming a strong bearish signal. Then, the ultimate stochastic trigger band should be red, providing further confirmation of bearish momentum. Additionally, the histogram must be light purple, indicating strong downward momentum. Finally, check the squeeze index. It must be red and decreasing or show only the yellow line oscillating without the red cloud to avoid entering during a low volatility squeeze. When all these conditions are met, we enter a sell trade. The stop loss is placed at the most recent swing high, and the target is the next order block below the current price action. Alright, that was our first strategy. Now, let's get ready for our second strategy, where we'll take things up a notch and explore even more ways to leverage order blocks for precise trading signals. This strategy excels on lower time frames, such as the 1 minute and 5 minute charts, making it perfect for day traders who are looking to secure quick, consistent gains. But don't be fooled. This approach also delivers strong performance on higher time frames, like the 4 hour and daily charts. Whether you're trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and altcoins, major forex pairs, or stocks, this strategy consistently produces outstanding results. Just imagine the profit potential you could unlock with such a versatile approach. I've tested this strategy manually 100 times on the Bitcoin 5 minutes chart, and here are the results. I started trading with a $5,000 account balance. Depending on volatility and the session, I use 5-10% to of my account per trade. For example, if I profit $100 on a trade, my new balance is $5,100, and I use 5-10% to of this updated balance for the next trade. 
Conversely, if I lose $100, my balance drops to $4,900 and I use 5-10% to of this new balance for the following trade. Just think about how quickly your account potentially could grow with such consistent wins. Traders before we start make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss out on any of the powerful trading strategies I share, which can significantly boost your trading success. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. Today, I'm excited to share a powerful strategy based on reversal trading that incorporates multi-time frame volumetric order blocks. This strategy makes use of volumetric order blocks, a powerful concept that helps identify key price levels where significant buying or selling pressure exists. By analyzing these order blocks across multiple time frames, we can spot high probability reversal points with greater accuracy. This method ensures that you're entering trades at the most opportune moments, maximizing your profit potential while minimizing risk. This style of trading can be quite risky on lower timeframes, especially if you're not experienced. But don't worry, the strategy I'm about to show you in this video is a very safe version of reversal trading. It follows four strict rules, each of which is absolutely crucial to follow. By adhering to these rules, you can minimize risk and achieve highly accurate trade entries. I am going to walk you through every step of this powerful trading strategy. By the end, you'll know exactly what's necessary to implement it into your trading and start becoming a profitable trader. Whether you're an advanced Lux Algo user or just getting started. Here's what you can expect. First, we'll start by adding the necessary indicators to our charts. Then, we'll fine-tune the settings to make sure everything is optimized for our strategy. Then, I'll explain all the components we're using, so whether you're an advanced Luxalgo user or a beginner, you'll understand exactly how and why this strategy works. Next, we'll dive into two buy trade examples to show you how to catch those profitable entries. And after that, we'll cover two sell trade examples to ensure you're well-rounded in your trading approach. All right, without further ado, let's get started and unlock the full potential of this strategy. As an example, we'll use the Bitcoin price chart on a five-minute time frame. This strategy involves using the same indicator twice for enhanced analysis. To begin, click on the Indicators tab and search for Lux Algo Price Action Concepts. This is one of the most popular tools on TradingView, created by LuxAlgo with over 14,000 likes, indicating its high reliability. First, click to add the indicator to your chart. Once it's added, repeat the process to add the same indicator a second time. This duplication allows us to fine-tune each instance separately for deeper insights. Alright, now let's click the settings of our first price action concepts indicator. First, we're going to start with the market structure. We want to enable both the internal and swing market structure labels, so make sure to set both options to all. Leave the values at their default settings, 5 for the internal market structure and 50 for the swing market structure. Next, we want to enable the volumetric order blocks by checking this box right here. Set the value to 9. Increasing the value from 5 to 9 will display more of the most recent volumetric order blocks on our charts. Then, enable the show breakers option. Finally, let's scroll down to imbalance concepts and enable the fair value gaps. Now, you'll want to change the colors for the fair value gaps. I chose yellow for bullish FVGs and orange for bearish FVGs. Now, let's open the settings for our second price action concepts indicator. Here, we want to disable the market structure labels, so make sure to set both options to none. Next, enable the volumetric order blocks by clicking this checkbox. Just like we did with the first indicator, we'll set the value for the most recent volumetric order blocks displayed on our chart to 9. For the time frame, we need to choose a higher time frame source for the order blocks. Since we're currently on the 5 minute time frame, we'll use the hourly time frame. If you're trading on a different time frame, I would suggest that if you're using the 1 to 5 minute time frame, you should use the hourly time frame for the order blocks. However, if you're trading on a higher time frame, such as up to the hourly, consider using the 4 to 8 hour time frame for the order blocks. This will help ensure that your strategy is aligned with the appropriate market structure. Our setup is ready. For today's strategy, our main focus lies on volumetric order blocks, and we're using a powerful approach by combining two instances of the same indicator. So, we've added this indicator to the chart twice. One instance focuses on order blocks from the time frame we're trading on, which in this case is the 5-minute chart, and the second instance pulls order blocks from a higher time frame, specifically the 1-hour chart. This dual approach allows us to align the smaller, more immediate order blocks with the broader market context provided by the higher time frame, 
When a 5-minute order block coincides with an order block from the 1-hour chart, it strengthens the signal, giving us a higher probability of success. Volumetric order blocks are key areas where significant buying or selling has occurred, typically driven by institutional traders. These zones mark critical price levels where the market has previously reacted. By using both the 5-minute and 1-hour order blocks together, we get a clearer picture of where the market is likely to move. We'll be looking for these higher time frame order blocks to overlap or align with the lower time frame ones. When a bullish order block on the 1-hour chart coincides with a bullish order block on the 5-minute chart, it suggests a strong buying opportunity. Conversely, when a bearish order block on both time frames aligns, it signals a strong selling opportunity. So, keep an eye on how the price interacts with these combined order blocks. Use this dual time frame approach as your first confirmation method to identify potential entry or exit points. When the price tests an order block that aligns across both the 1-hour and 5-minute charts, consider it a stronger signal to enter long or short trades. But as always, ensure you look for further confirmations before making your move. So, when exactly should we enter long or short trades? Here are the exact rules for a buy position. Make sure to pay close attention to every single one of them. First, ensure that a 5-minute order block, which is this green and red colored one, is located within a 1-hour order block, which is the gray colored one. This alignment between the lower and higher time frames strengthens the potential for a successful trade as it indicates that both immediate and broader market participants are recognizing the same key level. Second, wait for a bullish market structure label to appear. This can either be a green change of character label or a green break of structure label. This is crucial because it confirms a shift in market sentiment towards a bullish direction, indicating that the market is likely to continue upward. And third, look for a bullish fair value gap, which appears as a yellow box on the chart. The presence of an FVG is important because it suggests that there was an imbalance in the market, with more buying interest than selling. This gap often acts as a magnet for price to revisit offering a high probability entry point. Once all conditions are met, place a limit buy order at the midline of the fair value gap. This entry method ensures you're getting in at a level where the market is likely to find support due to the earlier imbalance. For the stop loss, you have a few options. Use the 5-minute volumetric order block, the 1-hour order block, or the most recent swing low. Each of these provides a logical point where the trade setup would be invalidated if the price moves against you. For taking profits, consider using a partial take profit strategy. For example, close 25 or 50% of your position each time the price reaches a bearish fair value gap or an order block located above the current price action. These areas often act as natural resistance, making them ideal targets for securing profits incrementally. This way, you can lock in gains while still allowing a portion of your position to benefit from further potential upward movement. Now let me show you another buy trade example. First, identify another 5-minute order block that is situated within a 1-hour order block. The repetition of this setup indicates consistency in your strategy, relying on the confluence between multiple time frames to enhance the trade's probability of success. Second, look for the appearance of a bullish market structure label, either a green chalk or a green BOS label. This label is essential because it shows that the market is confirming a bullish reversal, adding additional confidence that the price is likely to continue moving upwards. Third, confirm the presence of a bullish FVG, marked as a yellow box on your chart. The FVG is important because it highlights a price area where there was an imbalance, often leading to a revisit by the price, making it an optimal entry point. Fourth, with all the criteria in place, set a limit buy order at the midline of the fair value gap. This approach allows you to enter the market at a favorable price, where the odds are tilted in your favor due to the confluence of signals. For the stop loss, consider using the 5-minute volumetric order block, the 1-hour order block or the most recent swing low, depending on which provides the best protection against potential adverse moves. For taking profits, you might want to implement a partial take profit approach. For instance, consider closing 25% to 50% of your position whenever the price reaches a bearish fair value gap or an order block above the current price level. These areas typically serve as resistance, making them suitable levels for securing profits. By following these steps, you're leveraging a powerful combination of multi-time frame analysis, market structure, and fair value gaps to make informed and strategic buy trades, increasing your chances of success in the market. Traders, if you like this video and strategy, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All right, now let's go through some sell trade examples. First, ensure that a 5-minute order block, which is this green and red colored one, is located with 
within a one hour order block, which is the gray colored one. This alignment between the lower and higher time frames strengthens the potential for a successful trade, as it indicates that both immediate and broader market participants are recognizing the same key level. Second, wait for a bearish market structure label to appear. This can either be a red change of character label or a red break of structure label. This is crucial because it confirms a shift in market sentiment towards a bearish direction, indicating that the market is likely to continue downward. And third, look for a bearish fair value gap, which appears as an orange box on the chart. The presence of an FVG is important because it suggests that there was an imbalance in the market with more selling interest than buying. This gap often acts as a magnet for price to revisit, offering a high probability entry point. Once all conditions are met, place a limit sell order at the midline of the fair value gap. This entry method ensures you're getting in at a level where the market is likely to find resistance due to the earlier imbalance. For the stop loss, you have a few options. Use the 5 minute volumetric order block, the 1 hour order block, or the most recent swing high. Each of these provides a logical point where the trade setup would be invalidated if the price moves against you. For taking profits, consider using a partial take profit strategy. For example, close 25 or 50% of your position each time the price reaches a bullish fair value gap or an order block located below the current price action. These areas often act as natural support, making them ideal targets for securing profits incrementally. All right, now let's go through another sell trade example. First, identify another five minute order block that is situated within a one hour order block, relying on the confluence between multiple time frames to enhance the trade's probability of success. Second, look for the appearance of a bearish market structure label, either a red chalk or a red BOS label. This label is essential because it shows that the market is confirming a bearish reversal, Third, confirm the presence of a bearish FVG, marked as an orange box on your chart. The FVG is important because it highlights a price area where there was an imbalance, often leading to a revisit by the price, making it an optimal entry point. Fourth, with all the criteria in place, set a limit sell order at the midline of the fair value gap. For the stop loss, consider using the 5-minute volumetric order block, the 1-hour order block, or the most recent swing high, depending on which provides the best protection against potential adverse moves. For taking profits, you might want to implement a partial take profit approach. For instance, consider closing 25% to 50% of your position whenever the price reaches a bullish fair value gap or an order block below the current price level. All right, that was our second strategy. Now let's get ready for our third and final strategy for today's video. What if you could effortlessly pinpoint crucial support and resistance levels, ride the biggest trends, and uncover the hidden order flows that truly drive the market? This isn't just a fantasy, it's the new reality with Luxalgo's Premium Toolkit. In our third strategy, we'll reveal how you can tap into the full power of this advanced AI tool, giving you the edge to dominate the markets like never before. Welcome to the ultimate trading powerhouse. Price action concepts, signals and overlays, and the matrix oscillator. This powerful trio of indicators will revolutionize your trading game. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, this suite is designed to give you a serious edge in today's fast-paced competitive markets. First up, let's explore signals and overlays. This is your secret weapon for spotting high-probability trade setups with pinpoint precision. By blending historical data, real-time analysis, and advanced predictive algorithms, it highlights the best trading opportunities right before your eyes. With over 20 features, fully customizable settings, and custom alerts, this is hands down one of the most powerful tools you can add to your charts. One of the game-changing features of this suite is the price action concepts. Ever wonder why price seems to bounce off certain levels? These are key support and resistance zones. With this tool, these zones are automatically identified for you, revealing where the big players are likely to make their moves, giving you a huge advantage in your trade decisions. Here's a perfect example. Watch how the price reacts when it reaches this support zone. The Price Action Concepts tool had already highlighted this area as a high probability reversal point. With that insight, you could have easily positioned yourself for a short trade just before the market shifted. Now, let's dive into the Matrix Oscillator, an advanced tool designed to help you time your entries and exits with pinpoint accuracy. This isn't just any momentum indicator, it's a powerhouse with over six unique components that reveal where smart money is flowing and uncover potential reversal points hidden from the average trader. Notice how the oscillator delivers early warning signals before the price actually reverses. That's the power of the Matrix Oscillator in action, detecting momentum shifts that others simply miss. Plus, it highlights ultra-powerful divergences that don't just signal a trend reversal, but one with incredible strength. 
Now, let's bring it all together with a real-world example. On this chart, the signals and overlays highlight a strong buy signal. The price action concepts confirm a bounce from a volumetric order block just below, while the matrix oscillator shows a clear shift in momentum and signals that sellers are exiting the market. Everything lines up perfectly for a high probability long trade. With these three indicators working in perfect harmony, you could have confidently entered this trade and ridden it to a successful outcome. This is how you maximize your success, by harnessing the full power of the Premium Lux Algo Toolkits. To get the most out of these tools, here are a few key tips. First, always use the indicators together for maximum effectiveness. Second, backtest your strategies effortlessly using TradingView with historical data to see how the indicators perform in various market conditions. And finally, stay disciplined, let the AI-powered indicators guide your trades, not your emotions. Are you ready to elevate your trading to the next level? The Premium Lux Algo Toolkit isn't just another indicator, it's your key to consistent, profitable trading. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Click the link below to get started today, risk-free for 30 days, and witness your trading transform right before your eyes.